Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will see the Thevenin's theorem and uh, we will see its basics and will solve a problem based on Thevenin so that you can understand the concept. So first let me introduce you with the Thevenin's theorem before starting the problem and while solving the problem I will explain you the basics of Thevenin theorem and uh, I will show you how we can solve a circuit using Thevenin's theorem. Although we can solve this circuit by various methods like using superposition theorem by KCL, KVL or uh, Norton's theorem but here we will solve this problem using only the Thevenin's theorem in this video. So here I want to find the current I that is flowing through this 10 ohm resistance and uh, everything is clear in this uh, picture that this is 50 volt uh, voltage source and 100 volt voltage source 5 ohm 15 ohm and 10 ohm resistances. So I want to find the current that is flowing through this 10 ohm resistance. So let's see what is Thevenin's theorem. With respect to any terminal pair we can replace a very complex electrical network by a very simple series circuit having a voltage source and a resistance like this. Let me show you. Any complex circuit can be replaced by this kind of simple series circuit having a voltage source and a resistance and this is the resistance through which we want to calculate the current in uh, in our uh, this problem. So this voltage source is known as the Thevenin's voltage and uh, R is known as the resistance is known as the Thevenin's resistance. TH means Thevenin. So in this problem I will explain you what is a Thevenin's theorem and uh, how we can find the Thevenin's voltage VTH and Thevenin's resistance RTH so that we can replace this network although this is not very complex network we can use it uh, in any kind of complex network which is very complex and can find this uh, current in any branch so now my purpose is to convert this network into a simple series circuit like this having VTH and RTH so let's find out the RTH so that I can easily calculate this I current in this simple circuit by V equals to IR Ohm's law. So let's find out RTH first then we will see how to calculate VTH. Now look here how can we calculate the RTH. We replace any voltage source present in the network by a short circuit. Here you see that these 550 volt and 10 volt sources have been replaced by a short circuit as we are finding the RTH with respect to the terminals AB as we want to calculate current I so we will find the VTH and RTH with respect to this terminal the, in the branch where uh, through which we want to calculate the current or the branch that we want to analyze. I will short circuit any voltage source present in the network leaving behind its internal resistance or if there is any current source then we will replace these current sources by open circuit. So here we have only two voltage sources and there is no internal resistance for these voltage sources. So I will just replace these two voltage sources by two short circuits. You can see here in this uh, diagram and I will calculate the R Thevenin which is with respect to this terminal AB. So my question is my problem has been reduced only to finding the RTH with respect to AB terminals. So I want to find the equivalent resistance with respect to these terminals. So you see that uh, with respect to these terminals this 5 and 15 ohm resistances are in simply in parallel. How can you see? Because if uh, same potential difference is present uh, across uh, both of these uh, resistances then it is in parallel. Let's say here the voltage is uh, V1 and here the voltage is V2 since uh, if it is V2 then this whole part is shorted. So it is V2 then here it is V2, V2, V2 and V2. So you see that uh, V1 minus V2 the potential difference and V1 minus V2 the same potential difference between these two. So these are in parallel you it is very simple actually but I explained you if uh, somebody is not comfortable with it. So 5 and 15 are in parallel we know that R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 to calculate the equivalent resistance of parallel 
resistances so r th uh, r thevenin will be the equivalent resistance 3.75 ohm so we now have the r thevenin of this circuit r thevenin you can see here 3.75 ohm now i want to calculate the v thevenin so v thevenin is also with respect to these terminals so i want to calculate the potential difference across these a b terminals so how can i use it how can i do it for this i can use the kvl kirchhoff's voltage law in this so uh, actually we short circuited the circuit uh, for finding the r thevenin now we will not short circuit it we will just uh, use the full circuit using uh, 10 50 and 100 volt batteries and but we will uh, open circuit this ab terminal as we want to calculate the thevenin's voltage across these two terminals so this is a single loop let's say that i naught current is flowing through it and uh, let's use the kvl equations to find this i naught current then i will calculate the actually i want to calculate the voltage across these two terminals so for this i need i naught current then i will calculate the voltage so let's use kvl so kvl can be used as this look at this move in this uh, clockwise direction 50 ohm actually we know by kvl that the net potential drop across a closed uh, loop is uh, zero so let's uh, use it 50 final minus initial actually we use final minus initial so 50 uh, this is a positive this is negative this is higher potential this is lower potential so final minus initial is the potential difference so we are moving in this direction so final minus initial means 50 volts minus voltage across this is 5 minus 5 into i naught i naught is the current flowing through it as we always take final minus initial since current is flowing we are assuming the current to be flowing in this direction and current always flows from higher poten uh, higher potential to lower potential so if we are assuming this direction so the current is uh, if we take the final minus initial so lower voltage minus higher voltage so it will be negative so actually i am telling you the basics of kvl if you know this you can uh, fast forward the video so 50 minus 5 into i naught minus 15 into i naught by the same and uh, this is minus 100 because this is lower minus higher final minus initial lower potential minus um, higher potential current we are taking this in this uh, direction so minus 100 equals to zero net potential drop across this loop is zero if we will solve this then you can simply solve it for i naught i naught will be minus 2.5 amperes since it is negative it means the uh, direction of current that uh, we have assumed is wrong so the current is although i not in magnitude but the direction is in the anti-clockwise direction so the current is although 2.5 amperes but it is not in this direction it is in anti-clockwise direction in this direction okay opposite to this so we can easily calculate the voltage at this point now i have i not since voltage at this point is a zero at this so here it is zero here it is uh, higher 100 volt higher than this here the, i have the voltage 100 volts so it is 100 volt minus as the current is flowing in this direction so it will be reduced so the voltage drop across the across this resistance is 15 into i i naught 15 into i naught so 100 minus so voltage at this point will be 100 minus the potential drop across this 15 ohm since the current direction is in this way in this way so 100 minus 15 into i naught 15 i naught so it will be equal to the voltage at this point so voltage at this point v thevenin i know the i naught so v thevenin will be 100 minus 15 into 2.5 which is equal to 62.5 volts so i got the voltage at this point this is zero b is at zero voltage so voltage at this point will be the voltage across the terminal a b so i got the v, th uh, v thevenin's thevenin's voltage 62.5 volts now i have uh, both values uh, r thevenin and v thevenin now i can replace this complex network uh, that uh, I, that we are going to solve uh, into a by a simple series network this is the v thevenin just calculated and r thevenin we already calculated third element that we add is the branch that we are analyzing so it is a 10 ohm branch so this two and the the remaining is also added in this series network
branch that we are analyzing so it is very simple now we can calculate the current i current i is equals to by ohm's law i equals to v by r so v is what v is 62.5 that is v thevenin divided by the r r is what r is the summation of these two series resistance the equivalent series resistance uh, resistances in, in series will be 3.75 plus 10 so it is it comes out to be i equals to 4.545 amperes so this is the final answer current i this is the i current okay that we just calculated so this was the uh, way of using Thevenin's theorem to calculate a current in any particular branch we can also use a superposition theorem Norton's theorem KCL KVL that we will see in uh, next videos so this was about the Thevenin's theorem its basics and we solved the problem and learned the concepts by solving the problem hope you liked this video and if you liked it please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos see you soon in the next video with such kind of videos thanks for watching bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.